Isaiah 62, 1 says, For Zion's sake I will not keep silent. For Jerusalem's sake I will not remain quiet till her vindication shines out like the dawn, her salvation like a blazing torch. You see, this verse speaks about the prophet Isaiah's deep concern for the city of Jerusalem and the people of Zion, and it has a powerful application for Christians today in relation to Israel. The city of Jerusalem has been the center of the Jewish faith and culture for thousands of years. It's a city where God chose to dwell and where the temple was built. For Christians, it's a city where Jesus was crucified and where he resurrected. It holds a special place in our hearts as well. But Jerusalem has also been a city of conflict and division with Jews, Muslims, and Christians all vying for control and influence over it. Throughout history, Jerusalem has been destroyed and rebuilt, occupied and liberated, and its people have suffered greatly. Isaiah's message is one of hope and salvation. You see, he speaks of a time when Jerusalem will be restored and the people of Zion will be freed from their captivity. He believed that God would intervene and bring about the vindication of his people, and in many ways, Isaiah's message is a call to action for Christians today. As followers of Christ, we are called to love and support the people of Israel. We're called to pray for their peace and pray for their security and to work towards a world where all people can live in peace and harmony. We must stand with Israel in the face of those who seek to harm and destroy them and we must be a voice for justice and righteousness. Here's the reality. Isaiah's message is as relevant today as it was thousands of years ago. We must not remain silent in the face of injustice, but rather speak out and work towards a world where all people can live in peace and security. So let us pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for the well-being of all who call it home. May God bless us all in this endeavor.